So I initially was editing this video before I ever worked on the fashion of one piece video and then that one took over kind of my whole life. Uh, so I never got back to finishing this one. I'm not sure if I'll continue it. I mean, if this video gets like a million views and everybody's like, yeah, continue it, then you know, of course. But as it stands now, I don't think I'll continue, but I'm really proud of the edit that I have so far. So I thought, you know, might as well just put it out. Some people will watch it, whatever. But yeah, I hope you enjoy and Hold on tight because uh, <laughs> full videos are coming eventually soon. Like a classic Dragon Ball arc, this one starts with everyone dead. Okay, we'll use the Dragon Balls. So oh, shit, the guy who made him is dead too. He may not have a nose, but he sure has ears. Krillin overheard the Saiyans mention that they got plenty of balls over on Namek. You know, the place that Piccolo's from. So Bulma and her father begin building a spaceship to get them off this planet. All right, who's on our team? You think I'm joking, but I'm not. Well, of course, she's gotta be the pilot. <laughs> I mean, the kid's strong, really strong, but he's four and looks like this. At least I don't have to wear a little uniform. We're gonna die. I mean, I'm sure Goku would love to join, but the dude's broken, can't leave the hospital. And everyone else is dead. With not many options, they all head to Namek and leave Goku his own spaceship for when he's all healed up. But sadly, they are not the only ones on their way there. Vegeta's boss overheard the whole conversation with Nappa and beelines it to get his own immortality. We learn this when <coughs> we learn this when Kui, Kui, a soldier of Frieza's army, tells Vegeta how pissed their boss is at him for you know going to Earth against his order. Now fully healed, Vegeta puts his two weeks in and makes his way to Namek as well. There are seven Namekian villages, each with their own Dragon Ball. Let's start. Frieza sends out two of his henchmen, Dodoria and Zarbon, who nab four Dragon Balls. Kui engages in battle with Vegeta, but thanks to his Saiyan genes, that near-death fight back on Earth actually raised his power level a ton. I don't know how it works, just roll with it. On Earth, Goku is all healed up and heads over to Namek. Krillin and Gohan discover a Namekian village being slaughtered by Dodori and Zarbon. After witnessing one too many executions, Gohan explodes with rage and knocks Dodori into a wall. They then escape with a Namekian child named Dende. Dodoria follows them and after carpet bombing the surrounding area, he heads back. He then runs into an old friend, Vegeta. Vegeta begins choking out Dodoria and the alien begins pleading for his life by telling Vegeta what happened to the Saiyan planet. The race was just too damn strong and Frieza has toxic masculinity traits. He said, nuke them all. They only kept a few of them around because they were useful. Okay, he doesn't care. Gohan and Krillin reach their hiding spot and Dende gives them coordinates to a uh, Dragon Ball being protected by the Grand Elder Guru. Krillin grows a pair of his own Dragon Balls and heads that way with Dende. Bars. Zarbon and Vegeta run into each other and begin fighting. Using the power of Ugly, Zarbon defeats Vegeta and leaves him to die. Under Frieza's orders though, Zarbon heads back and picks up Vegeta, throwing him into a healing pod so they can interrogate him later. But of course the dude isn't gonna listen and starts chucking their balls out a window while everyone's distracted. Krillin and Dende make it to the Elder Namekian, who is actually the creator of the Dragon Balls. Sadly, the dude is old as hell and doesn't have much time left, so they need to find the balls now before he croaks, croaking the balls as well. He gives Krillin his own balls while also- <laughs> He gives Krillin his ball while also unlocking his hidden potential. Just another cheat code to get out of training, I guess. Bulma sees a lone ball on the dragon radar and sends Gohan to grab it. Krillin gets back to the base, but is tracked by Vegeta, who is tracked by Zarbon. Round two begins, but thanks to that magic monkey blood, Vegeta is the victor. As a reward, he bullies the Earthlings into giving him their ball. He is overjoyed and heads to the six he has hidden to get his yummy wish. On his way back, he runs into Gohan, who was able to snag one of Vegeta's stashed balls. Like an American getting stopped by a police, Gohan nearly avoids death by acting dumb and hiding the contraband. The kid makes it home and they all move to another location while lowering their power level to avoid getting tracked. Frieza sends out his strongest soldiers, the Ginyu Force, to take care of Vegeta. 
Krillin takes Gohan to the Elder to get a hit of that good shit, and he gets his hidden potential unlocked as well. His power is immense, and Vegeta gets a whiff of it. He confronts the two and tells them that he really needs that immortality to stand a chance against the Ginyu Force. Luckily for everyone, a Namekian named Nail explains that the balls can actually grant three wishes. Perfect, let's head over to the balls now and...